Hello everybody, Burnt Dead Guy here, and welcome, welcome back to Dispatchable. Alright, so last time we uh, did some pretty good stuff. Managed to get all that uh, manufacturing stuff and all that wonderful, beautiful crap done. Uh, we uh, unlocked these uh, rifts, minor rifts now, so we can go through those and complete little trials and stuff. But uh, today, I think, uh, where are we? We're right here. So I'm going to go open up this door, we're going to run back, and we're going to check this little area out and see where it leads to, and hopefully make our way up to here to the Link Tower. If we get blocked off somewhere around here, well, we do have another way down here that we discovered last time. And yeah, so let's get her going, man. Let's get her going. Got lots to do, lots to do. I'd like to uh, at least... Finish the game, and then kind of go from there and see, you know, if uh, we do the stuff at the end or not, or, I don't know, I guess we'll go with uh, what everybody wants. If uh, people comment below and say, oh, I want this. So you need five electronics to fix. All right, so let's bring you five electronics. I can do that. Since there was a thing right here. We'll grab that. Just five, huh? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Just marvelous, James. Just marvelous. So we only need one more fuel cell. That I'm really excited for. That we're going to be able to uh, plug this thing up and, and take off. There we go. Open the gate. There you go. So now if we ever need to go back that way, we can. Which is good. Which is good. I like uh, like having all these different ways unlocked. That way, it doesn't matter where you are, you can get to where you need to go. Which is kind of fun. Hey, chubby wubby. Hey, nobody. Oh, I... Uh, ha, ha. You suck. I really should have hit him and I ended up hitting the, the wall. A little fence there. That was just garbage. Alright, what do we got up this way? Okay, so this is the way we gotta go. We got a time crate there. <clears throat> so they're just gonna start popping up on the map all over the place, probably. It's insane. All right, what do we got coming up here? The campsite, that's good. Lower plump pumping station. All right. Let's see if we can get around the lower pumping station. Looks like it. Half decent resources. We got some wolves back here. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's one of those rift things. Okay. Cool, cool in the gang. Alright, let's run over top here. Ah. Nice. Telling you, those dodges there are probably the best thing. That's so awesome. Switch. Oh. Open sesame. All right. Don't see anything that way. Aha. Oh, come on. Should have hit him. Could have, could have, would have. Oh, so we have two fishing spots here. Beautiful. That's nice. All right. Yeah, I don't stop for them anymore for now, because we'll eventually 
Let's just go back and do them or whatever. Okay, so it looks like this way is locked off. I guess if I had that sledgehammer, I'd probably be able to get by that. But I don't. So we'll have to go the other way. Unfortunate. Alright, well, I'll meet you over there. Alright, so we're back. Um, had a little bit of a mess up up. Uh, my audio track for some reason got all messed up, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of a voiceover for the rest of the episode. Which kind of sucks because like I was like right in the in the combat action and all that stuff, so I highly doubt I'll be <laughs> the, the same thing. Um, so during the night I did sleep and uh, well slept. I I, uh, I scavenged the area. I took out everything that there was was, and all the metal and steel and all that good stuff. And uh, as you see, we upgraded the sledgehammer. It's not as going to be as effective as I hoped it was going to be, but um, it, it still does the trick. It uh, doesn't break any of the rocks, um, the big ones anyways, yet. I'm going to have to wait till I upgrade it a little bit more. Um, other than that, it still came in uh, handy, I guess, now and then. So this is where I'm going to go find out that it, uh, it didn't work, and I'm going to have to change plans. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine because like I was supposed to go to um, the other side and I decided to come over here and uh, and try and upgrade it and see if they would do the do the trick but it didn't so we'll come over here and I'll hit a rock and I'll be like hmm hey don't work it works on the smaller ones this is you know it's a smaller rock but uh, these bigger ones there, no, wants well, nothing to do with it. And it said like level 90 or 90 damage. So that's probably almost all max. But uh, whatever. We'll just uh, keep trucking. We'll go back uh, in my little disappointed self. And uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go to the next area and we'll see how that goes. All right. So as I was running over, I noticed that there was like another way up. So I came up. And I'm uh, going to investigate this area instead and hopefully it's going to lead us over to where the boss is. But uh, let's uh, see what happens. So let's go this way. Big chubby wubby in there. Could probably break in there and get him, but not really worth it. So we'll just keep going. Nice. Take that, man. Alright. And I go in here and I kick these guys' butts pretty good. There's only a couple of fishing spots in here. Other than that, not too, too much else. Oh, nice try. What you use that for? Oh no, please don't hurt me. <laughs> it's not the same doing a voiceover as playing the game. It's the, you're, you're, you're right in the action and the whole nine yards. It's, it's like, it's totally different. I'm like reliving what I was doing. So we'll go over here and open up the fishing spot. Oh, we get more fishing spots. Alright. Alright. Taunt him over to come and get me. Oh no. It's too bad the other explosions didn't uh, didn't do any damage. Sometimes you wonder why that axe doesn't like kill them when you're in the um, when you hit them in the back. It's pretty crazy. I ended up leaving that plastic back there, really. I did that. <laughs> Where did I pick it up? Oh no, I picked it up. Good bog. <laughs> I thought it would have left it there. But I probably could have like busted out of there, but I think I was probably just too lazy and decided to run around instead. <laughs> Which is fine. Which is perfectly fine. Alright, what did we do up here? 
Okay, so it was probably just a bunch of running around and discovering places. We are going towards the Link Tower this way, though. So we end up discovering that, which is pretty good. It's uh, weird that I have all the cold stuff, like, upgraded, but we still get cold. Like, I think that's a little crappy, and I threw that by mistake. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, and I decide not to go. This is where I think I take a look at the map. And I think I decide to... Uh, hey, I'm near the link tower. So we'll go up that way instead. Instead of crossing over here where these big baddies are. Yeah, cross over here. Uh, look around. <gasps> A little jump off hurt you. It's pretty crazy. See, this is what I was like. I got all the cold stuff on, and everything is upgraded. I checked. So there's nothing that's nothing non upgraded for the max. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way the game is intended, so that way you rush. Only thing I could think of. So. Yeah, I go around and check everything just to make sure, but whatever. It is what it is, man. Live with it, Bog. You're going to have to freeze your butt off, and you're going to have to hustle. So that's what I did. I hustled. I run. I ran. And I didn't let anything stop me, except for this slime <laughs> telling me that the bridge is out. I was like, oh. Alright. I think I look at the map again somewhere here. Actually, I wasn't 100% sure where to go. I clued in. I'm like, aha, this way. Oh no, it's the Chubby Wubbies. Hey, Chubby Wubbies. Boom. So we were able to get rid of this one anyways without the other one noticing, which was good. Because... Having two of them on there at a time just kind of sucks. Oh, we're freezing. Taking too long, man. Guy's gonna start losing energy. Yeah, I just where I also discovered that the uh, sledgehammer stuns enemies, so that's pretty neat. I think I just start biffing grenades at all these guys, take them all out one at a time. It's kind of funny that they didn't see me up here. It's Kind of strange actually but uh it worked out and there we go they're all dead i'm probably a waste of grenades but it worked for me i didn't have to do uh much strenuous work on a little island trying to kill them which was good all right this is where we run to the link tower activate it and I even put one of those uh, monster things on it so we can get more mana beads, which is uh, excellente. That's what we definitely needed. There we go. Now we just have almost the entire map unlocked except for like two spots. So that's kind of cool. Happy to see that. Alright, this is where I put the uh, deadly transmission, mission, transmission on. Crazy. Use your words, Bog. <laughs> Alright, this is where I'm trying to figure out how to get back. I figured I'd just run around. and I thought that was a campsite. That's why I was like, oh, I'll go over here and get warm. And uh, that just wasn't the thing at all. <laughs> I mean, it was like three tires on the ground. I was so disappointed when I got there. I was like, oh, no. That's fine. Life is full of disappointments. Just uh, gotta like make lemonade out of it. Is that what they say? I am. Cow amigo. Looking forward to getting that sledgehammer like fully leveled up. I think that would be pretty awesome. We got lots of gear to uh, max out. A lot of it we haven't even used. Um... You know, I, 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 I could have, I should have dug there. I bet you there was a treasure. 
and I didn't think about it. It didn't dawn on me. But now it does that I see it. Alright, so we're frantically really running back. Trying to avoid uh, all the all the nasties. Let's keep her going. It's pretty good material here too. You can't get me. <laughs> Scream all you like. You big wuss. Alright, so I think I managed to break through there. I think that's where I go. Because I go after that gun. That was the smart thing to do. Get to unlock uh, the other area on the other side and take out a gun at the same time. I was really worried that it was going to target me, but it didn't, so I was happy. And then let's just keep her going. Searchy search. Oh, more plastic. Like I probably didn't need that, but... Alright, that's where I see a campsite up top. I'm like, ooh, campsite. Like, yeah, warmth. <laughs> uh, it's just not the same during Drew, Drew the voiceover, I'm telling you. Uh, I try, I try. <laughs> uh, let's go check see if we got any upgrade. Nope. Sweet nothing. Oh, we're going to continue adventuring. Finding out what's uh, out here. I think I decided to go up. And that led us all the way back down there. So, because I was debating, oh, do we go down or do we go up or what do we do? And I was like, oh, well, let's go up and then we'll loop around. Or, well, no, I went down, didn't I? Yeah, that's true. But I did go up. I know I went down eventually, too, because I know eventually I went to those, uh, those two fishing spots that are down there. But, uh, yeah, we just go check out this place. Dilaf Dilaficated? Is that what it said? So cold. Always oh, so cold. This guy's a big wuss. Aha! Death to you. Oh, another fireplace. You know, the good thing about it is this, uh, I can just sit back and watch and have a drink my coffee and uh, comment. <laughs> it's, like, it's okay. I can see the things that I missed. You know, there's like a bonus of that. It's like re-watching an episode where you weren't 100% sure if you understood it or not. And then you just come back and... I thought I was going to kill this guy. At least kill him. But I just stunned him. Or he ran after me, I can't remember. I think he ran after me. Yeah, he gets a little bit perturbed. Bam. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, more nasties. I almost threw that in the water. Glad it's got a good radius of uh, to trigger. And the enemies don't have to like run directly over top of it. That'd be a little, a little rough. And the throwing isn't very far either, too, I find. I figured you could biff a mine a little bit farther than what he's doing. At least a few more feet. Hey, man. Bye, man. Thanks for playing. And there was really nothing here. Bunch of plastic. So, that's why I run away. We go check out the next area. Oh, some rice. Everybody likes a little bit of rice. Good old fried chicken. Can't beat that. Especially if you find a good Chinese restaurant that does that, man. Mm. And you get some wonton soup. And, and uh, what else there would be good? Um, I like the um, uh, egg rolls. Oh, I love egg rolls. They're so good. Getting myself hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, all right, so it looks like I'm going down, <laughs> like uh, over where those fishing spots were. Like I said, I was gonna go. 
I think I was really, uh, really wanted to get a boss fight on, and uh, because I missed that last boss fight, and then when my recording screwed up on this one, I was like so mad. I was like, why, why, why is this happening? And then I figured out I could do a voiceover. I was like, oh yeah, I could kind of fix this and not lose an episode, right? But the previous episode where I recorded a complete black screen and you had just my voice, well, that would have been good for like an audiobook. <laughs> but I'm not doing an audiobook. I'm trying to do a, a video, so it didn't cut. And I can't like, because the way the saves work on this one is they save over top of the previous save all the time. There's no multiple saves or auto saves or anything like that, which kind of sucks because at least I could have reverted back to an auto save and redone it. But uh, that wasn't the case. And uh, now we're doing a voiceover. So now I'm going to have to definitely check my audio before I start, uh, before I start recording now because... Uh, it did it to me three different cuts, so I'm assuming the microphone was messed up that entire time and I didn't realize it. Oh, but uh, yeah. Oh well. Let's scavenge. I discovered this tower that's leaning on the ground. I was like, oh, you can go up. And I've never really gone up higher in these places before. Usually they kind of restrict you from going up. But uh, I was like, oh, let's check it out. And we did. <laughs> Alright. What did we find up here? I don't think we found much. Hmm. Another thing I was thinking about too. Is we never clicked on one of these boxes ever since we did the whole time thing. So I'm wondering maybe if we can actually do that now. Or if we're going to get sent back to that clock at one point that I found in a previous episode. So, I did discover if you jump from high enough heights that you do die. <laughs> um, and you'll see that later. Which kind of sucks, but... It was for science. For video game science. See, here I clued in. And I was like, aha! Let's dig. And I was right. Yeah, yeah. So really, there's only six more treasures out there. So I did pretty good finding most of them. And I think I missed one earlier, like I said, where those tires were. So. And here, too, I think there could have been one. But maybe not. Just because of the two tires on the ground, but who knows. Who bloody knows? And uh, actually, a deer brought me to the one I just discovered. So I figured if it would have been one there, the deer would have taken me there and not to the farther one, right? That's what I think. So let's collect some more rubber. Even though I think I got like more, way more than enough rubber than I, what I need, but it's all good. Don't know what kind of things out there require rubber. So, I guess I'm still running around here, checking things out. Discover another rift. A bridge to push down. And then I discover this little space here. And this is where the dam is. And this is where I think I decided to like, hey, I'm going for the boss since I'm like right next to it. I didn't think to expect to be here. And I was like, oh, look, the boss is, like, right there. Hmm. And then I thought about it. I seen, I noticed the other campsite, and I was like, ah, no. And then I noticed another spot down there, too, that I can go to eventually. But I was really, like, itching towards that boss, so. I thought that was all frozen, and I discovered that it wasn't. And that it was just, uh... Welcome, my children. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Alright, the fuel cell signal. This is where you discover that it's under the water. Well, how do I get it? You can see the little antenna sticking out of the water. 
Awesome. So now we got to go find a way to get in here. So we noticed that the, we need to find a key. So that's good. We'll go find a key. So I'll start searching around and I start looking all over the place to see if what uh, we're missing. <clears throat> see if there's place things to read in here or not. I end up coming to scavenging all this later, so which is a good thing because uh, we need the materials for later on. So that was awesome. I just got a bunch of tomatoes here. Nice. Never really did any of the recipes or cooking in this game. I don't know if they were OP or not, or if they made you warm or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Which would have been kind of a good thing to check, but a little late, right? <clears throat> there is an achievement for, um, for I think, cooking so many things. So maybe eventually I'll do that. So I was checking out uh, what I was looking for here. And uh, so I decided I was like, going to run up this way and see if there was something here. I noticed that there was something to read. So now we have to go find some that live near a fjord. The second part of the corn utopia. In layman's terms, mana can transform any substance into any other substance. But forget the ancient island legends. The effect requires fine tuned digital electronics of modern age. The fabricators. This is an automated recording sent from K23. So, obviously, there's an island that we can't get to, right? The, that one that uh, I've been talking about. So, obviously, something we're going to have to use the fabricator for to get there. So, I think once we put the fuel cells in, we'll figure, we'll figure that out. But that won't be until uh, next episode, because I didn't do that this one. Alright, so now I'm trying to figure out how to get across, and I'm like, oh, this way. I'm going to go up here, we'll check it out, see what we can find. Do uh, quite a bit of investigating here, too, trying to make sure that uh, I'm going the right way. So I discovered, I was like, yeah, going down is the right way. I'll take this guy out. Oh. See, I laughed because I missed him the first shot and the guy was walking away. I did my power shot and I hit him. And I was like, what the heck? That doesn't seem right. See, I can kill a guy like that with a backslash. And sometimes I kill one of those little blue guys there and I don't, I don't do any damage. Well, I do do damage, but he's got like a little smidge of uh, health left. So, so this is the area that we got to find the key in. We're going for some rubber. Oh no. Boom. See ya. It flew pretty far on that one. <laughs> pretty impressed, actually. Another guy spots us on the other side. There's a big chubby wubby over there. I'm going to go take out chubby. I thought I could, like, you know, get him, but I ended up hitting the tree. <laughs> I figured that would have killed him, but it didn't. Which kind of sucks. I think I got hit there, I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh no, don't chase me. <laughs> So right away, <clears throat> I looked uh, to see what there's to search. I didn't see anything over there. The only thing I see is over here. And I go and I search it, and voila! There's the key in the sink. Weird place to hide it. Go and gather this stuff here. Then we run back, unlock the door. 
And we get the show on the road, boys. Gonna go ahead and get us a boss. I guess I'm looking to see which way I can go back. Oops. Well, let's run back, I guess. That's where we're heading off to. I think we're going to go to the... Um, oh, what is it there? The, the fire campfire. Going to head off down that way. Over... I like the water. The water's nice in this game. It doesn't look too shabby. Interesting reflections. Alright. Do I sleep here too or. Can't remember if I do or not. I know I went up a level. I think we took the Fisher. So we go to Fisher 3, I think. Or we take Fisher 2. One of the two. Yeah, I think it's Fisher 2. So now we go and we unlock this area. And we lower the water. I guess we're gonna search first. <laughs> Scavenger in me. There we go. Lower the water. Now there's just a bunch of fish in there and a big robot. And I was like, he should be all rusted to crap. For sitting underneath there for God knows how long. Like, if he can run and actually work, like, that should be a miracle. Hell of an engineer. Alright. So, I'm so excited here. I went back to save. Just to make sure it saves here. And then we go and check out this boss. I think that's what we do. I was thinking about like changing gear, but then I was like, oh, well, I'll probably be cold and I won't do that. So now I start running around looking for a place to get down there. Because as I can see right now, there's just a drop and you can't get on. So I'm just going to run this way, see what we can see. I did notice the container, and I was like, hmm, maybe there's a way, like, to push the container in or something. I haven't seen that in this game, but I never really noticed where I was supposed to go. I just was like, hmm, how do you get over to that bridge, right? And then I'm like, hmm, let's see if we can jump off. <laughs> For science. And, um, yeah, it wasn't the right move. <laughs> Alright, so I started running around trying to figure out how to get down here. Notice that there was this little pushy bridge. Alright, start trying to figure my game plan out. <clears throat> Friggin there's got to be some way back here. That was my my thoughts. And I was like, let's uh, let's go back this way and figure it out. There we go. I think we're gonna be on the right track now. Yeah, there was nothing in here. I think I went to go and see if uh, there was like a bridge or a ladder or something that you could like lower, but there's nothing. Oh, well, let's continue this way. Check to see if there's something down here. It's pretty crazy. I was happy that my body was on the side. I was like, oh, yay. <laughs> Go back this way. That's when I decided to think I was going to go through the gate. Or the, make my own gate. Oh, it sucks that he hit me. But, oh well. 
We'll make our way through here. Perfect. Awesome. And that's why I decided to run around and check to see where it leads. Notice that it indents here and I was like, oh, let's go this way. Oh, there was a bunch of deer and stuff. And I noticed the cans and I was like, oh, maybe this will throw it in there and I'll be able to get like a bridge down or something, right? Yeah. That wasn't the case at all. But I did get a whole bunch of material. <laughs> Which was good. So, let's run this way. Figure out where we need to go. And then, like, in a moment of eureka, I was like, oh my god! We can run down right here. So I was like, alright, let's push this little bridge over. And go save it. Rest. And then go try and beat the boss. That was my plan. <clears throat> it was a good plan. It was a heart-filled plan. And it didn't work out very well. But that's fine. So I decided to sleep. I'm not sure why I decided to sleep. I should have done the 12 hours and not the 10. Because it still stayed nighttime. And then I ended up resting until morning. Because I was cold down there, right? And I was figuring maybe because it was nighttime that uh, I'd be colder. But uh, I don't think that was the case. So I did figure out a few mechanics to that boss later to keep me warm. So that was kind of good. But at the same time, I was like, hmm, it's dangerous. All right. So we managed to sleep so many hours. i to sleep more hours. Perfect. So now we're going to run in. I still see very well anyways. i to collect all the fish. Just because I'm stupid like that. <laughs> so if there was a fishing spot here, there is no more fishing spot. And I just collected them all. Alright. So I decided to go and throw all of my bombs. I want to see how much damage this does. Because <coughs> I got him down pretty low. See, that, that did a lot of damage compared to all the other times I did it. I wonder why. See, I... Ah... Man, I was like doing so good too. I was like, yes, I'm gonna rock your world. But these last couple of bosses, they don't, uh, they don't have the refills on the ground, so you can't just refill your your stuff. You kind of like cheese the boss out. So that was unfortunate. I think I ended up wasting a shot. I'm not 100% sure. Might not have been this round. It might have been a different round. We did that one. And then, see, notice how I'm like freezing, and I'm like losing health and stuff. Well, I switched over to my sledgehammer, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have to beat you up in order to get this. And you see how he shoots these flames out? Well, that hurts me, but it also does bring down my cold supposed to anyways so if you stand near it it's supposed to bring down your cold I was kicking his butt man and I didn't notice the flames at first I only noticed the flame thing like the second or third time I was actually fighting him and then here I froze the death and I was so mad I was like oh my god I almost had you almost had you <laughs> uh, it was pretty good I was like so frustrated because like I was freezing to death and I didn't really know what to say anymore I was like man how come like I'm freezing down there and the whole nine yards and I don't know but uh, I think um, I was gonna try to look in between um, stops uh, when I did my cuts to see if there was anything I could upgrade and 
it wasn't the case. I think I tried to do it again. Oh no, this is where I noticed the deer. And I follow this deer. That's true. It leads me to the treasure that we already got. So, yeah. But I'll just follow the deer anyways. Just because, you know, it shows you that it follows you to the treasure that I was already at. Yeah. And he starts running. I wish he would have ran the entire way, really. I could have just had all the enemies follow me there, but it wasn't like that at all. There we go. And he slowly walks. Not a fast walker. <laughs> Come on, my little dear friend. Hustle. There we go. Oh. Oh, I'm still... I still got a shovel in my hand. What the heck? Oh, no. <laughs> now I got a gun. Point blank range. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me, boy. Off my lawn. <clears throat> and see, and then it brings us right back to the treasure that we already got. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> so we're probably going to go back into the fire pit now. And then this is when they say we're going to switch over. And I'm going to wait till daytime to see if it makes a difference in uh, temperature. I'm not sure if that's the case, but... Uh, we still froze, but the heat from those flames was lowering my heat, so or my coldness, which was nice. So we're going to make it back here, and that's why I decided to cut. All right, now we're back here. We're going to try it again. We're daytime. I told everybody that I just looted all this place, and I put my knives on to give us an uh, extra little bit of... Um, damage and from this point on you're going to notice that when i throw down my all my my mines it seems to do a lot less damage than what i did the first original time i'm wondering if it's because it was like a back attack and all the other ones were more towards the front and that's why i did less damage because i was questioning myself the entire time i was doing it so yeah but we die a lot just to let you know, um, I think it took me three more times to go after him and beat him. But, uh, yeah, I came up here because I wanted to get my my coolness down. And then I think we're just going to run in, lay all the mines again, and give her. Oh. Oh yeah, I wanted to do one at a time this time around. It didn't work out very well. I don't think it does did as much damage. And then I was trying to dodge crap the entire time too, so... See how the flame just wrecked me? But my temperature s s goes down every once in a while, and I'm wondering if it's because of the fire or... Something is bringing it down. <clears throat> I do realize that. But I'm just not 100% sure what it is. It could be because I could be walking away. Oh. I tried to heal myself. That was stupid. I do manage to get away with a heal later on. And then that's when I noticed, I think the, the flames were the, the culprit of killing me most of, most of that battle. So, I was reluctantly uh, got up and try again. Because, you know, that's just how it works. You don't give up. <laughs> You're not going to let a stupid little video game beat you. Uh, so, I think I went down I just threw them all in a circle this time. Or did I throw them all at them? can't remember. Oh yeah, I did a whole circle thing. And I think the next time I just threw them all at him. Alright. So the goal was to try to get him to walk around and take damage from 
hitting all of these. Takes a little bit of damage from that one too. Stepped on another one. I get him to come down to this one. Stepped on that one. <clears throat> now I think he he okay. No, no, he didn't. He didn't set off two. He only set off the one. And then right here, huh? That's where I got him. See, notice my um, my cold is staying down. I'm not really 100% sure why, but it's been going away and coming up, and yeah, really, really not 100% sure. Could have been just where I was standing, maybe. Uh, I don't know. So now I'm out of grenades. I just got shots. I think I wasted a shot. I think this is the match where. I waste a shot. And it's because I ran off screen here. See right there. And I was like, no, I wasted a shot. I hit a bunch in the face on that one. There. Now I am out of everything after that shot. Well, I think I switch over to my knives. The knives do like a little bit of damage. Better than nothing, right? <clears throat> I think I would have had the knives the first time around. I think I would have beaten them. Oh. Cops are after somebody. <laughs> Pick up the fish. <laughs> I don't know why. So, I tried to go in there and beat him up with the sledge. <clears throat> I didn't do too bad this one, but still didn't get him down far enough to beat him. Still did pretty good though. Like, it wasn't bad. It was a good valiant attempt. Alright. So now. Now. I'm laughing. Laughing. But with, like, determination. And I'm like, I can do this. I know I can do this. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, one more time after this, I think. I think this is the, the final death. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. So this is where I throw everything more in front of him. And then uh, <clears throat> you get to notice the damage. See? I did pretty good. I took three quarters of a bar. I think the first time I took almost that whole bar. Pretty good job uh, dodging and running. Oh, ate some of them there. There you go, that brings them down to that. So now I can start biffing my grenades. A little bit of damage, it wasn't bad though. Throw a few more. I think one of my grenades hit the uh, the ball, so that uh, that blew up. I don't know if he took any damage from that. But. All right, so now we got him down to the last stage. I got uh, no more gun bullets left, and I just have my knives. All right, so I do think I switch over to my knives. There we go. Take advantage and just toss them all. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so now we're back to the sledge. So let's see what we can do with the sledge this time around. Pick up the fish. <laughs> Friggin' bog. <laughs> this is why I'm trying to stay away from those things. in, try to hit him, 
can't remember if this is the one I beat him or not. <clears throat> I don't think so. I think I still have one more death. Yeah, yeah, I think I died one more time. Because, like, I was almost there. It's so cold. Not really, because you're getting flamed on. So you gotta wait till he goes in that crouchy. Oh no, this is the one where I beat him because I did manage to heal. That's true. So this is the one where I do beat him, ladies and gentlemen. That's true. And we went in, did some pity hits. Doing pretty good too. Knocking him down. Look where the missiles are landing. You can always just kind of like avoid them, which is nice. And there we go. Man, I thought it was the biggest war cry. I was like, yeah! We beat you! I was so happy, man. Ah, oh, just ecstatic. So there we go. There's the last fuel cell. Ah, oh, just so happy. And then we're going to go back and save it. And I'm going to rant and rave about, like, how awesome I am. And no. <laughs> Bad four deaths. That's pretty good. He was tough. He was probably the hardest one of all of them. Uh, guaranteed. Even though I have, like, the most ammunition, I think he was probably the hardest of all of them. So, but, uh, yeah. Other than that, that was pretty much all the end of it. Next episode, we're going to get into uh, going down and delivering the fuel cells and seeing what happens after that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.